singing? Yeah. <laughs> what are you singing? Sing me a song. You sing me a song? Facial resurfacer. Smooth like a baby's bum bum. <laughs> you girls ready to rock and roll this morning? They gotta get the little pile of snow. Your hands are gonna be cold, toots. Woo! Good morning. We are going into the Life Center. I brought my bag, you can see it? With my gloves, my knee sleeves, come on! My neck support, my wrist guards, but I'm not gonna use wrist straps. I'm not gonna use those because of my wrist. <laughs> Have physical therapy this week, emotional therapy, trauma therapy, energy healing therapy. <laughs> We're a mess, um, but it's a new day, a new week, I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying, I know it's not my greatest quality, but we're gonna go and exercise. And Dana got back, come on, babe. Oh gosh, she got back last night. There, now she's freezing, of course. Yeah, your hands are cold, I know. She got back from uh, Florida, freaking loved it. I'll have her get on to talk to you about it. We just found, yeah, you want to film it for me? Okay, we just found the most amazing way <laughs> to open the YouTube. You ready? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. I don't have strength in my wrist. It came out! Come on, can you split in half? Hi guys, I just got back from Florida. I'm so, um, it was so fun. I'm so glad that I went there. Um, I have to be back in the cold in Utah, but Florida was so nice and warm. I loved like all the palm trees and everything. It was the best. The meat was super good. I got first all around, which is awesome because I didn't get to compete um, last week. You so, redeemed yourself. <laughs> yeah, redeemed myself. So going to gym right now um, to work hard for Crystal Cup in a couple weeks, I think. And then it's actually right there, Crystal Cup. Sure. Right there. Just look up right there. Come and watch her February. There's Sport Friday. City. It's Friday, the February. <laughs> February. There it is. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna compete in like a couple weeks. I don't even remember. It's like yeah, it's in two weeks. Two or three weeks. I don't even no, know. No, it's next Friday. Oh, it's next Friday. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's next, next Friday. Friday. Twelve thirty. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm competing there. I'm super excited. Um, hopefully I can compete all four events again. So what was the your favorite part about the meet and what was your favorite part about actual Florida? Um, my favorite part about Florida, oh my gosh, I just love Florida. It was so nice and warm. I want to go there for college. I like, that'd be one of my dream colleges to go to. Um, it was, I love the palm trees and just everything. It was so fun. Um, I just liked how warm it was and yeah, it was just so fun walking around and wearing a t-shirt and shorts again. It was the best. And, um, the, my favorite thing about the meet was probably hmm, probably competing all my events and getting a 9-6 on beam. That was probably one of, that's one of my highest scores in level 9, which is awesome. I mean, did you ever get a 9-6 on level 8? Um, I have no idea. I'll have to go check back out my scores, but I don't even know. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a really great meet. Um, vault was a little bit weird but I'll have to just fix that at the gym today but yeah otherwise it was so fun so I'm so glad I got to go there and it was it was the best it was so fun <sighs> I gotta take a breath I made it to 1 30 it's going up to pick up Nico from preschool and then it's getting him down for a nap which is hard to do these days he is fighting me on those naps and he still needs them taking it down to gymnastics and <sighs> anyway Mondays are crazy. <laughs> what do I have this week? Orthodontist appointment. I'm signing up to Dana Zander in India for camps at BYU this summer. I'm going to try to get India into a dance camp. Xander wants to go back to rugby camp and Dana's going to hopefully get into gymnastics camp. We've got therapy on Thursday with Laurel and I'm singing with my group and then I also have a doctor appointment with 
this with the actual surgeon. I think he just said, you know, we'll take a look at your hand and your wrist and like the wrist is healing, it's doing great, but we will um, see if we can like take another nerve test in another eight weeks and see if there's been progress. Cause he said there is a signal, there is a signal in the, in the nerve. There's a terrible response, but there is a signal <laughs> when it's fired. So hopefully in eight weeks, there will be just that much more. And if not, then there's another option of like a nerve exploration surgery, which sounds awful, or maybe a tendon transfer or nerve transfer. I didn't know those, those are a thing. Have any of you had a nerve transfer? It's like where they literally take a redundant nerve that's maybe not necessary and they will like wire it into the nerve that's not working or attach it. It's fascinating. Like modern medicine is absolutely amazing. So and then physical therapy on Saturday, kind of a chill week as far as appointments. I had so many appointments two weeks ago. Um, and then, geez, I mean, it's just the daily grind. Working with Jet Dental and um, getting the blogs uploaded, Instagram uploaded. Thank you all for your support, for your comments, you guys. I will be able to be more vocal about things when the time is right. I just... It's just a little bit um, delicate right now. My heart can't heal, I feel, until things are, until there's more certainty in my life, you know? And until I have that, I just have to kind of keep it to myself for my own protection and for the protection of my kids. So that's why I just don't really address the real drama in my life. Plus it's hard to talk about and I'll probably start crying. So thank you all for your support. Um, I'm just doing the best that I can, relying on him right there, pulling me out of the water <laughs> and um, trying to keep a smile on my face and trying to at least, like I said, fake it if I have to and um, really delve into the gospel and the scriptures um, so that I can, can keep the companionship of the Holy Ghost and of the, you know, the Spirit of God to be with me because that's all I have. That's all I have. I'm, like I said, always reminded of one of my favorite movies, Fried Green Tomatoes. A heart may be broken, but it still keeps a beating just the same. And I feel like that's me. My heart is healthy and it's great. It's broken, <laughs> but I'm still alive. Like I have no other option but to keep living. And so it's a season. I know it'll pass. It'll pass like a kidney stone, but it came to pass not to stay.
today, I'm, right now, I'm going to dance. I got all black because that's what we wear at dance, and I'm so happy. My friend is M Mariah. She's moving back to Utah, and I'm so happy for her because I miss her so much. She's been gone for, I think, a year, and I'm so happy to see her. She's It's going to be so much fun, and we're going to just, like, I literally almost play with her every single day. She's, like, she's literally my best friend and I love her so much and so I'm so happy and I hope you guys are having a great day and remember to subscribe and comment and turn on those post notifications and remember to um remember to stay happy healthy wealthy and wise and remember to make good choices about your life and follow the prophet and I say this thing I mean oh <laughs> Oh my gosh, I actually didn't mean to say that. And yeah, guys, bye. Okay, when Kenya plays, she dumps. And she is just a dumper of all toys, aren't you? Put it down. Yes, good boy. So, let me show you how to clean this up. Don't throw her. Yeah. No, we don't throw her. No, we don't throw her. So, I put this right here. Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. Okay. Helping out Naoma, doing some play doh, making some teeth. Is that fun? Oh, and Nico's cutting. Okay, I made beehive meals. They're green chili mac and cheese, but I need more noodles. So I'm cooking some more noodles. And Trey, you took the dogs out for a walk all by himself, and he didn't complain. Good job, buddy. Look at that. I tried to hide behind my bed, and I've got two dogs here. One right here. Kenya is here. She found me, Naoma, and Nico. 
five creatures and I'm hiding behind my bed so they wouldn't find me. And they always do. They always do. All of them. Freaking all of them. You guys. Okay.